definitely feel that we should start by signing a top model. One with the biggest name in the industry. Absolutely not. Why should I pay top dollar for someone I can see on any news rack in the country? Well, that's a good point. What else have you got? Uh, what else? <clears throat> what else? Well, that's a good question. That's a very good question, because actually, my other idea, see, what I was thinking about we do is, uh, is we'll use them. See, I mean, I mean, it's perfect. I mean, these kids buy two or three swimsuits every summer. We'll make them your models. Go on. Yeah, uh, uh, we'll have a, a talent search. Uh, we'll take unknowns, we'll make big stars out of them. I'm talking about kids with that, with that natural, healthy California look. You know, athletes with the best bodies on the beach. Mrs. Allison, they'll be wearing your swimsuits. Catherine Allison, star maker. Yeah. I know a fabulous talent scout. He went to Northwestern with my nephew, and now he's working with a big modeling agency in New York. I'll see if I can't uh, steal him away. Uh, well, Mrs. Allison, that's real sweet of you to offer the help, and I can understand why you'd want uh, your own guy there, but generally in the past, what I'd like to do... See, I enjoy working alone. Don't worry, darling. You'll love it. Everyone loves Willard. Willard? Hey, hey, wait up. I, I, I really am a modeling agent. Look, I got a card. Honey, everyone has a card. I forgive you. Wow, what a weird coincidence. My name's Willard Thurm, too. Brian Rutledge. Hope you didn't dress like that on my account. It's my California look. When I'm scouting, I like to be inconspicuous. Hey, you girls want to be rich and famous? <clears throat> Down, boy, come on. We'll start the talent search in Newport Beach. We're looking for six models for the duration of the summer. Four girls, two guys. OK, here's the schedule I drew up. Now, I arranged for two bikini contests, but other than that, um, we're on our own. Bikini contest? Yeah. Hey, for a guy in a tie, I like the way your brain works. Well, I hope you all had an eye full. I know I have. I'd like to thank the other contestants. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, Romela Lupescu. No, that's Lupescu. Uh-huh. And you've been here for a year studying at UCLA as a foreign exchange student. Oh, yes, that's true. I, uh, I, uh, I am the first in the history of my family to, to go to college and the first person to come here to America. Uh, they don't understand why I want to be here, but they are very proud of me, you know. That's very charming. Uh, now, have you ever worked on your father's pig farm in Hungary? No, no, I have scholarship. I am a student at Fashion Institute in Budapest. This causes why I want so much to be sold as model so that uh, I can... Uh, how do you say that? Uh, I can rip off American fashion industry from the inside the job. That's all I need is another nutball. Look, I'm a graduate of Yale Drama School. I did Shakespeare in the Park in New York. I wouldn't feel comfortable parading around half naked in a bikini. There you go, let's go. Yeah, but who knows? This could open up a lot of doors. I've been a talent scout for four years. Take my word for it, you got it. I got it. Yeah! Hey, modeling could pay for a lot of acting classes. Well, I have to admit, I could use the money. My parents cut me off after college. They'd probably love it if I was so broke I had to slink back to Connecticut with my tail between my legs. Well, if you took this job, you could support yourself for a Forget year. It. Forget it. Actresses are flakes. Besides, she gets an audition, she's not going to show up no more. And this girl, come on, she couldn't look sexy for life depending on. Excuse me. 
But first of all, all actresses are not flaky any more than all ad agency executives are sleazeballs. Let me tell you Secondly, something. Secondly, you, know you may not think you I'm have an attitude problem. Mr. Rutledge, but one of the advantages of being a highly trained actress is that I can be whatever I want to be. You want sexy? I've seen 20 guys in Santa Barbara. I think he's the best so far. The thing is, we don't need models that read. We need models that look good. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. I'll tell you something, Willard. I am tired of the beach, and I am tired of blue skies, and I am tired of breasts and navels and behinds. I agree, Bright. It's a horrible job, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah. Miss, I've been waiting over 15 minutes. What's taking so long? Look, I'm sorry. Our cook cut off part of his finger, and my manager had to take him to the, to the hospital, so I'm here all alone. So, here you go. Let's go. I lost my appetite. Wait a minute. She's cute. Here's your cola. It's flat. Look, our machine's broken. I'll get you another one, okay? I'm sorry. Excuse me. We're with the Salt Air Models Talent Search. Have you ever thought about modeling? Modeling? Seriously? Hey, hey, I got a card. Ever since I was a little girl, I mean, my mom even enrolled me in John Robert Powers' school when I was nine years old for modeling. But then my dad died, and we really couldn't afford it anymore, so. Um, I'm sorry I'm just carrying on like this, but it's just that I'd do anything for the chance to try. I mean it. We're looking for a few good women. <laughs> you, you good at any sports? Sports? Um, everything. I love sports. Hey, I'm still waiting for that cola. It's coming, it's coming. How about, um, horseback riding? You ever been on horseback riding? Horses? Sure. Okay, how about uh, <clears throat> windsurfing? You ever do any water skiing? Sure. spare time I don't know surf surf okay 
Um, tell us about surfing. Did you ever enter any contests? Yeah, I was almost the first Goofy Foot to win the Nationals, but I forgot to show up for my heat. Is that a sweet roll? So anyway, what were we talking about again? Brian, I love her. No, you don't. Jay, you call me? Jay! I think I'm in love with you. Don't mind him. Uh, we're with the Salt Air Model Talent Search. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking, but uh, this could be a great opportunity for a young woman with your credentials. How much does it pay? Ten grand for six weeks' work. Have a nice life. Plus a $25,000 bonus if you're picked up for the Us Magazine swimsuit issue. In addition to that, three of the models will be signed next year to an exclusive contract worth $150,000. You might be interested in knowing that I have no tan lines anywhere. Would you care to corroborate that? Sure, just ask the Swedish ski team. What do they call you? Jade. As in the rather overrated pale green stone from the Orient? Personally, I prefer emeralds. They're so much sparkier. Now, what I was thinking I'd like to do is to Now, what I was thinking I'd like to do is set the shoot for next week in Hawaii. Fine. Now, why don't you give these kids the good news? Yeah? Rosie, telephone! I'll be there in a minute. See, when we get back from Hawaii, we all have to stay in the hotel. Because I think they just want to keep an eye on us. Hawaii. Always wanted to go there, never made it. Mom, do you think I have too many freckles? Sweetheart, you are pretty in your own special way. Besides, if this modeling thing doesn't work out, you can always come back home where you belong. Brooke Shields, Lauren Hutton. A lot of these people started as models. Miss Lepesky, you're right on time. Very uh, happy to have you. Yeah, uh, Mr. Axelman. Uh, yes, sir, and I, I gave you what I could. Yeah, that, that's right. And listen, I, I'm going to give you the rest of it in July. I'm going to give you everything you deserve, OK? OK, bye. Brian, I have a question. If you would be kind to take me into your wing and learn me the ropes of Slimfoot advertising, I promise you, I will be very, very great. Whatever you said, no. I get on the bus.
Marvin, darling, I still have two weeks to make my payment. So why don't you just disappear? Well, I'm just uh, making sure she's in good condition. Dealer's already got a buyer for her, and sometimes you're a little rough on the merchandise. Tell him not to hold his breath. See that bus over there? That's my high-paying job waiting. Now I'll be able to pay for whatever I want. Well, I'm real glad to hear that, Miss Green, because, you know, I worry about you. Some people seem to always want more than they can pay for, no matter how much they got. Haven't you heard, Marv? That's the American way. Hi, remember me? Willard Thurm, your future husband. So, uh, who's this guy? Should I be jealous? Not that it's any of your business, but that's Marvin Potter. The man who's made repossessing my possessions his life's work. Bye. Traveling by bus, how glamorous. So you're a uh, stockbroker? Well, not at the moment. Oh? Well, why not? Well, I haven't been able to find a job since the crash. That's too bad. But you're you're still following the market, yeah? Religiously. I, uh, I'm ahead, too, at least on paper. Come to my room tonight. I want you alone. Uh, no thanks. But thanks for asking. I'm sorry, I don't, uh... No, it's me. It's it's Rosie Campbell. Rose? Well, look at you. Wow, Kevin's little sister's all grown up, huh? Hey, it's been three years. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, you're not one of the models. I know, it's a miracle. And would you believe that until one week ago, I was working at the Burger Roundup on Rosecrans? Is that right? Well, tell me, does, uh... Does any old gang still hang out there? Yeah, all of them. It's pathetic. And believe me, it was the last place that I wanted to end up, but with my grades, college was out, so... Kevin told me you went to Long Beach State. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I was a business major. Graduated last spring. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I, I work for Brian. I'm kind of a production assistant slash driver. Hey, Chris! Tick-tock, tick-tock! Come on, pal! Official title, slave boy. <laughs> hey, buddy, we got a... Rosie, you're here. All right, sweetheart. Why don't you get on the bus? Let's give this to our pal Chris here. Thank you. Okay, sweetheart. I'll see you later. Yeah. Hey, go on now. Go on. I'll tell you, it is such a small world. You know, I went to high school with that girl. I think she had a little crush on me. Oh, great. This is what I need, right? Chris, let me tell you something. I don't want anything distracting these models, okay? You want to be friends? Hey, I'm all for that, but you got to know where to draw the line. Relax, Brian. Come on, she's a cute kid, but if I wanted to get involved with somebody like Rosie Campbell, I'd have stayed in El Segundo, all right? Okay. May I have two minutes of your time, please? As you know, this is a competition. You all have six weeks to show us what you can do. Now, you'll all have a chance to be in the brochure, through TV commercials, some print ads, and some billboards. When we arrive back from Hawaii, there will be daily workouts at the hotel supervised by Willard and Chris. I expect each of you to be there every day and on time. Now, there's a lot at stake, so I'm sure you'll all want to look your very best, which means no drinking, no smoking, no late nights or wild parties. But other than that, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Now, there's only three of you will be chosen for next year. Two girls and a guy. Screw up and you're out. However, if you make it, you'll be $150,000 richer. Your two minutes are up. It's a joke. He said he wanted to talk for two minutes. Get it?
Yep. Actually, I've been here before. Good old Bjorn. He had the most incredible body in the world. Plus, he didn't speak a word of English. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe I'm in Hawaii. What do you think the shoot's gonna be like? Listen, all you have to do is follow directions and look gorgeous. Now, how difficult can that be? if I don't get enough sleep. Ice helps. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, why don't we start with some wider angle lenses? Let's see uh, a little bit of the background. God, it's too early. Yes, what I love about modeling is the glamour. Here. Pull these on your eyes. It'll help you look rested. Thank you. That's what I call a cucumber sandwich. I'll get the mayo. Please, it's too early in the morning for you. Now, be nice. I'm going to be a very successful guy someday. I I'm starting my own modeling agency in two years. Good, then call me in two years. Brian wants you in full body makeup. You're not dark. Okay, so. yeah. I stick to this. Watch out. Don't let it blow over. No, you gotta dig a hole. You gotta have sand under it. Uh-uh-uh. I can look, can I? Why does it feel so slimy? Either it's mineral oil or this is the one I sneezed in this morning. Okay, Willard, Chris. Everybody, can I have your attention, please? I want to huddle up before we go in a thousand different directions. What I want to do now, Willard, while well, the light's still good, let's shoot the horses down in this area. And uh, I think I want to use Romella, Scott, and Rosie, OK? Let's get that together. Romella, Scott, Rosie. Well, I guess nothing. sensuous with sand in their pants. Okay, when we hit 30, 35 miles an hour, 
I want a big smile, okay? And no matter what happens, keep smiling. All right, Rosie, are you ready, darling? Okay. That's a wrap on the skiing, okay? Oh, yeah, I know. You all right, Rosie? No broken bones or anything? No, I'm okay. okay. Um, I'll be better next time. No, I'm sorry. There isn't going to be a next time, Rosie. I'm letting you go. What? It's only my first day. And you messed up every shot you've been in, doll. You know how much time and money you cost me? You can't fire me. You said that you wanted real California beach kids. Well, you can't get more real than me. I grew up two blocks from the yeah, beach. and you lied to get the job. You can't ride, you can't ski. What am I supposed to do? I can learn. I'm a real hard worker. I'll get better. I'll teach you how to water ski. You gotta give me another chance, Brian. You got to. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll give you another shot. But if you mess up, you're out. I mean, if you cost me any time at all, a minute, a second, you're out. Chris. Hi. Hi. Willard said I'd find you out here. What's that? Well, this is a glass buoy. Clean it up, it'll be as good as new. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Well, I'm gonna store this one. I, uh, I plan to open up my own prop house someday. Hmm. All I need is a startup money. You got 50 grand on you? Sorry, I'm all out. <laughs> I get the money somehow. I mean, this job pays great. Plus, I applied for a loan. Well, you sound... Very determined. I am. Um, I wanted to thank you again for sticking up for me today. I really appreciate it. Sure. Chris, I don't want to lose this job. Ever since I was a kid, I always read about models traveling all over the world. To Europe and the Orient. And I think about my mom. I mean, she's 40 years old and still waiting on tables. She's never been outside of California. I don't want to end up like that. Chris, I really got to make this thing work. Excuse me. What day are you? Excuse me. Brian. What, 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 what? Oh, my parents' plane is just landing. They're coming in from New York, and I want Rosie to have dinner with us, okay? No, I, no, no, no. I mean, you got a full schedule. We have workouts tomorrow. I promise that... we'll be home early. Thank you. I appreciate it. And here are chemtrix for our baggage. Come on, let's go. No, Bye. We... We... All right, but only this one time. Is this a coincidence that your parents' plane is getting in at the same time as ours? It's no coincidence. It's a brilliant fabrication. But you told Brian that you're... I lied. It's party night. Wait a second. What if Brian finds out? How are we going to get back to the hotel? Have you heard the expression taxi? Jade, we are going to get into so much trouble. If I lose this job, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Besides, I've got nothing to wear. Rosie, darling, when are you going to learn to trust me? Right on passenger, Bob Rolski. Please go to a white courtesy phone. Jade, where are we going? It's a surprise. But I can promise you one thing, you've never seen anything like it. We're gonna get in big trouble. <laughs> I certainly <laughs> hope so. <laughs>
she's beautiful. Yeah, I suppose she is in a surgical kind of way. Oh, come on, let's mingle. Hey, Jade, Jade, I thought you said you were coming to David's party in New York last week. Did I? Where was I? <laughs> Jade, you're not supposed to be drinking. Come on, I won't tell if you don't. something a little more pleasant to look at. That's the trouble with these places. You can't tell the sharks from the sharks. A uh, lawyer. No. A gangster? Have you ever heard of Chadway's Boutique on Rodeo Drive? Of course. Oh, you're that part Chadway? That's why I have to go to New York next week to buy the winter line. Why don't you come with me? I just met you an hour ago. Well, what better way to get acquainted? No. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't fit in with your kind of crowd. What's that supposed to mean? Department store air and fast food waitress from El Segundo. It sounds like an old Marilyn Monroe movie. Well, I happen to like old Marilyn Monroe movies. Well, I never went to college. And you probably went to Yale or Harvard. Princeton. And not that it matters, but I was a Rhodes Scholar. You studied maps or something? I don't even know what's funny. You're funny. How did you get to be so adorable? I don't know, I'm just lucky, I guess. How did you get to be so corny? I've never been in a limo before. And look at his house. What do you think? Not bad. Here you are. This is my favorite novel. The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. Gee, I don't think I've ever read a book without pictures in it before. Well, you better read this one. I'm going to call and test you on it. Well, I certainly hope it's multiple choice. I'll call you. Do you know what he kind of reminds me of? A young Cary Grant. The way he carries himself. Rosie, I'd hold off on the wedding invitations. You just met the guy. Oh, I know. It's just I've never known anyone like him before. Fine, have a good time. Just don't get carried away. Take my word for it. Love is entirely overrated. Jade! How can you say that? I know, I tried it once. You're a sweet person. I don't want to see you get your heart broken. No, I won't. I, with this job, I have too much on my mind anyway. The last thing I need is to fall in love. To not falling in love. Unless it's absolutely necessary.
sorry I'm late. I hope we didn't keep you from something really important. I made it, didn't I? All right, Chris, let's go. Has anyone ever told you you're very beautiful when you're hyperventilating? I'm relaxing. Please go away. Stop! We will have dinner tonight, my treat. Romilla, I don't think that's such no, a good no, idea. No, 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 I insist. And I will not take out no for an answer. So, I'll meet you in lobby, 8 o'clock sharply. Good book? I don't know. I cannot understand a word of this. Then why are you reading it? I met a guy last week, and it's kind of a homework assignment. A guy? Hmm? What kind of guy gives you homework? Oh, no, you don't understand. He's very intelligent and very interesting, and I'd really rather he not find out what a dope I am. I think you should just relax and be yourself, Rosie. I thought of that, but it would never work. Watch. Well, I am so happy to finally have you alone. I'm wanting this for two weeks now. Look, look Ramilla, something important I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in women. Sexually, I mean. I'm sorry. Scott, you slay me. You didn't think that I am wanting to attract you for sex? No. What a classy mixed up understanding. No. I don't get it. So why the big deal about seeing me alone? I am wanting to need your advice with something, but we must keep it under your tech. Relax, we'll get it this time. It's really easy for you to think you haven't swallowed half this stupid oh, leg. Come on, come on, one more try. All right, just relax, stay. Okay, all right, let's go! I went to the dump yesterday. It's amazing what people throw away. Oh, these are so adorable. You want them? They're yours. Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh, go ahead. I can always get another pair. Thanks. So, uh, so you never told me. How'd you do on your homework assignment? He never called. I guess he figured out that I was too dumb to read. Guy's got no taste. Are you kidding? He's got class oozing out of every pore. Really? If he had a class, he'd have called.
the life. There she is. Jane, we're gonna be late. Relax, there'll be just a minute. Just don't see it that way, miss. Don't take my car. I'll write you a check. Check's no good with no funds in the bank. All right, Mars, you win. Take the car. But at least let me get my things out of the glove compartment. Well, all right. Look, Marv, it's all going to be community property someday anyway. How much does she need? Oh, about $35,000. Of course, that's just for the Porsche, not counting what she owes on stereo, clothes, and jewelry. Well, here. Here's 17. How do you... She will end up in jail. No, she won't. I won't let her. inexcusable for Jane to be late like this. But... But it's my fault, really, Brian. I, I gave her the wrong call time. She'll be here any minute, I promise. She better be. For a quick killing, we're talking one of two things. Index option trading or the commodities market. But in risk losing the shorts off my back? No, thank you, Mr. Not with my paycheck. Please, make for me low-risk, short-term investment with highest possible yield. Right, then I'll turn a room full of straw into gold. Yes, this is Maria Detney. If anyone from NBC calls for me, please let them know that I'm at 555-4012. Thank you. Well, do you have a big part in the movie? No, it's a TV pilot. Oh, my Uncle Laszlo is flying planes in Hungary. Mm. But I'm really not too optimistic because I probably would have heard from them by now if I'd gotten the call back. Look, J J Jerry, wait a minute. I know the schedule is impossible, but I only got a week to edit and deliver this commercial, or I'm out of a job. Hold <laughs> on. Oh. What? Damn it, Maria. I don't want you to even think about going to that callback today. We are shooting a commercial here. I realize that. I've already told them I couldn't make it. What am I supposed to do next time? I mean, what if you get an acting job? Look, Brian, I was honest with you from the beginning, okay? I'm going to continue pursuing my career. And if you can't live with that, fire me. Here she is. Jade, where have you been? We're going crazy. Are you okay? I'm fine, honestly. What happened? Well, the good news is, is that the bank doesn't get to keep my Porsche either. 
Look, I owe the cab driver 15 bucks. I'll owe you one, okay? I'll be right back to help you out of those wet things. Well, I think I can handle it from here, thanks. Will, I like that. He covered for you. He said he gave you the wrong call time. Are you kidding? <laughs> Come on, I'll help you change. Just don't rush me and I'll get it right this time. Talk to me. It's for you. What? Well, I'm busy. You should have called two weeks ago. Now, look, you can hassle me if you want to, but I would rather shoot this thing, okay? Hey. All right. Hey, hey, what'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? Okay, let's do this. Time you ready. I'm waiting for you, darling. Men love abuse. Don't you read Cosmo? Delivery for Rosie Campbell. I'm Rosie Campbell. Oh, thanks. Oh, heart, they're beautiful, really. Tonight? Well, you have to hang on. I have to check my book. Well, you know, I do have tentative plans with Rob Lowe. <laughs> okay, but I have to be home early, because I have workout starting at 7 o'clock. Are you trying to corrupt me already? Okay, well, I'll see you then. Bye. Let me guess. It's a little pancake flipper? No. Hart, you haven't introduced me to your cute little friend here. Oh, I'm sorry. Candy Harper, this is Rosanna Campbell. Rosanna's a model also. Oh, isn't that exciting? Miss Harper, it is such an honor to meet you. I have been the biggest fan of yours ever since I was a little girl. How sweet. No, I, I didn't mean it that way. Hart, this music is just splendid. It's Haydn, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. Well, it's lovely. Sweetbreads, miss? What are sweetbreads? I believe it's from the thymus gland of the calf. Ah, uh, I'm not a big 
thymus gland eater. No, thank you. Heart? Why me? You could have anybody you want. Why me? Well, because I'm crazy about you, that's why. Everything is so new and exciting for you. When I'm with you, I get to experience the whole world again. That's really funny. Because I only like you because you smell so good. <laughs> You're the only woman who can make me laugh. So there. Stay with me tonight. Won't you next to me in the morning? I can't. I already told you I have a 7 o'clock workout in the morning. I'll send you a note from my doctor. I better get out of here. You really will corrupt me. Bye. Thanks for dinner. You see, I like that. Good manners, even when she's rejecting me. I'm not rejecting you. I'm just sort of shifting you into a lower gear. <laughs> uh, all right. You tell me, when can I see you again? Well, how about Wednesday? Salter's having this fashion show thing on the Queen Mary, and the models aren't going to be in it, but we're going to be introduced. Do you want to go? I don't think I can wait that long. Jade, you're not going to believe this. God, where did you get this stuff? Hart's in it. Isn't he great? Just look at all this stuff. Look. Victor Costa, not bad. Hey, thinks of everything. Matching bag, shoes. Uh-oh, this looks more like a gift for him. Give it here. <laughs> Give it here. No, he's great. He sent all this stuff, but now I've got to send it back. Rosie. The man is worth <laughs> millions. It probably gives him a thrill to pamper you. You don't want to ruin his day, do you? No. So send him a thank you note and count your blessings. OK. Oh, wait, look. <laughs> he sent me these books, too. He's such a sweetheart. Ah, it's the fur. I know it. No, wait. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Um, would you like to come in? Uh, no, no thanks. I'm just, um... <laughs> well, I promised Brian I wouldn't do this, but what the hell. Would you be my date for the fashion show? I rented a tux and everything. Um...
just marvelous. I don't know how you got it together so fast. Panic. Panic and desperation. <laughs> You know who I adore is that Maria. She is wonderful. We'll definitely be using her next year. So whatever you do, keep her happy. Yes, I intend to do just that. You know who's really gorgeous is Jane. Maybe. But I know the time. She won't have those looks much longer if she keeps burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> What can I get for you, miss? We'll both have the lamb medium, please. A uh, couple of salads and vinaigrette on the side. Certainly, sir. Thank you. Cut it up and feed it to her, too. And for you, miss. I'll have the white fish, please. And what about you, Arnie? Arnie? It's Andy. Whatever. I'll have the uh, filet mignon. Well done. And uh, where's the little boy's room? It's right through there, sir. Thanks. I'll be right back. Don't go away. The little boy's room? Where'd you find this guy, the home for arrested development? You know me, I just can't resist the combination of a beautiful body and an empty mind. Hey, beauty isn't everything. You know, some women appreciate a man with a little wit and panache, a certain je ne sais quoi. French women, no doubt. Waiter, we'd like some wine, please. No, we wouldn't, thank you. Not with Mrs. Allison here. Spoil sport. Look, if you want a shot at this contract, you gotta start behaving yourself. All right. From now on, I promise that I'll get at least two hours sleep a night. How's that? <laughs> you know, Jade, I don't understand you. You got it all. You're beautiful, smart. You could make it. So why do you, why do you sabotage yourself? Now here's my date. I'd be nice. What am I gonna do? Call him names? The guy's a gorilla. He'd kill me. Oh, I wish. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, that's great. Good evening, Maria. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. I just thought uh, you might like to dance. I'm sorry. Maybe you could be human. You want to come surf with me this weekend? No, thank you. I don't surf. That's OK. You can take pictures of me and hold my top. You're a fairly good dancer for a woman. <laughs> just joking. You're fairly funny for a man. Oh, thank you. No, I was just speaking with Mrs. Allison. She was remarking how much she likes you. <laughs> you mean she likes my skin and my muscles? Huh? Personally, I think it's quite an accomplishment. You know what? Thank you. You know, I shouldn't be telling you this, but you have a very good chance of getting one of these contracts next year. It's an unbelievable opportunity. I hope you appreciate that. Why do I sense there's a bit of warning in there somewhere? Well, I just hate to see you blow it with his acting business. You know what I mean? Blow. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you very wait much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Maria. Maria. Maria, Maria, wait a minute. Do you know how many actors in the Screen Actors Guild actually made a living last year? I don't care. Well, let me tell you something, girlfriend. Out of 70,000 actors, we're talking maybe 800, 900 at the tops. The rest of them are, what, waiting tables and selling shoes? Is that the kind of lifestyle you want for yourself? What makes you so sure that I'm not going to be one of those eight or 900 people? Oh, you are so stubborn. I just don't want to see you screw up your life when you got a sure thing staring you right in the face. Screw up my life? Brian, I believe that I have talent. I would be screwing up my life if I didn't go for it. What makes you think that you got talent? <laughs> Talk about stubborn. Look, my workshop meets on Tuesday nights from 8 to 11 at the Actors Theater in Hollywood. Why don't you come be a judge for yourself? All right. Maybe I will. Please do. Maria, dear. You were wonderful in the commercial. You have such marvelous muscle tone. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Allison. If you'll excuse me. No, I absolutely forbid it. It's too late. I already put it all in large position in copper features. Copper features? Not the copper futures. Look, Romella, I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I am so angry with you, I could just spit. Don't you mean spit? 
Fine, go ahead, make fun of my grammar, but that don't stop me from seeing red as a boy. And I will tell you one thing, if you lose any of my money, I will throw you a big conniption fit. And that is a warranty. Not warranty, that is a guarantee. Hart, come on, we're in public. Well, then let's go to my place. No, I can't. I have an 8 o'clock workout in the morning. You work too hard. I mean it. When you're up at dawn every morning, you exercise till you drop, you starve yourself. A girl like you should be enjoying herself. I don't mind hard work. And I like modeling. It's a challenge. Well, it's only a challenge because it's new to you. It gets old fast, believe me. The average model has got five good years. She starts out working her tail off, does an occasional catalog, and her career's over by 30. Well, gee, Hart, don't sugarcoat it. I'm serious, Rosie. You have such a sweetness about you. I don't want to see you change. I won't. What if you never had to work again, hmm? What if you could do anything you wanted? I don't know. I've always worked. You're staring at me. That's because you're beautiful. And you have a magical smile. And I love you. You do? From the moment you crashed into the waiter at the club. Please don't remind me. I'm serious. I never thought I'd feel this way about anybody. And now that I do, I'm not gonna let you get away. Rosanna Jean Campbell. Will you marry me? Hi. Remember me? Willard Thurm, your future husband. Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. So, it's our last day tomorrow. Hallelujah. Not last, I can get back to something I'm really good at. Full-time debauchery. So I was thinking we should definitely go out and have a date tonight. You, me, us. Alone together under the moonlight. What do you say? I don't think so, Will. W why not? The truth, I, I can take it, really. It's... All right, you're not my type. Why? Is it because I can read and write and I have a vocabulary of more than nine words? <laughs> oh, come on. You'd, you'd never know you liked caviar, either, if you hadn't tried it the first time. Well, I look good. But look at Maria. Hey, they didn't even use one photo of me. Well, maybe yours aren't done yet, Jane. What are these? These are the proofs of the print. Oh, can I see? Yeah. Rosie, is this your engagement ring? Yeah, it was Hart's grandmother's. It's gorgeous. His grandmother likes the very big diamond. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. You better take this thing off before you swim or you'll sink like a stone. Wait, let me see. Ladies. <laughs> Break up the party. Workout's in five minutes. What's up with him? I'll be right back. Chris, wait. Um, so I guess you heard I got engaged, huh? Yeah, congratulations, really. Thanks. Wait, are you okay? I mean, you seem a little, I don't know, upset or something. Uh... I am. They denied my loan for the prop house. I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could do. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'll, I'll get the money somehow. Workout's in five minutes. Oh. Ramella, I am 
so glad that the summer's almost over and I can forget about this stupid job and get on with my life. But what about the competition for the fabulous Salter modeling contest? <laughs> Aren't you longing to know if you'll be exploited next year for big bucks? No. Your money really isn't that important to me. I, as long as I can pay my rent and I can afford my acting workshops, I mean, what else do I need the money for? Maria, no offense, but you're a big cook. I love it. Maria's the one with the best chance of the contract, so naturally she's the one who doesn't care. Ain't life grand? Why do you think Maria has a better chance? Haven't you noticed how Brian is always cozying up to her lately? Brian never cozies up to anyone unless he needs something. Mark my words, she's going to be offered the contract, and I'm going to be out on my indebted little behind. Wait. You never know. It's not over till it's over, right? Oh, who cares? I never had a chance at the lousy contract. I'm glad I didn't knock myself out. I can't believe you. You don't even know how gorgeous you are. Want to see something funny? No, it's not Orca the Killer Whale. That's me, eight years ago and 38 pounds heavier. This doesn't even look like you. Yeah, that's because after I lost all the weight, my mother took me off to the best plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. And she said right in front of me, Dr. Whitewood, we're desperate. Can't you start over again? My mother's one of those incredibly beautiful women whose whole thing in life is being and staying beautiful. Made her crazy to have this dumpy kid. You know, the truth is, is that when I look in the mirror, all I still see is what's wrong. You know what I see when I look in the mirror? I see a really big klutz. Parents are flying in Tuesday night, and Mother's friend, Catherine McCormick, is throwing a big luncheon for us at the Bel Air Hotel. Here, try this. It's good. I hope your parents like me. Don't worry, they'll love you. Wear that blue Chanel suit I bought you, with the white silk blouse. So that's Wednesday at noon. Wednesday? I, I have a shoot on Wednesday. Oh, I don't believe this. We'll call Brian and tell him you can't make it. I'm sure they can find someone to replace you. No, I can't. It's, it's the last shoot, and it's my last chance to be seen. I'm borderline as it is. Rosanna, now this is very important. How would it look if my fiance doesn't show up to her own engagement party? And I don't want you working anymore anyway. But... Shh, shh. From here on in, I'll take care of everything. I'll call Brian after dinner. Now, I have a little surprise. Paris? We'll have a small ceremony the 16th of August. And... Europe for three months. Okay. Darling, other fork. Oh, I'm sorry. place where I'd definitely be the most handsome guy in the world. You're nuts. Yeah, but never boring. For you, it was as if nothing had happened. I was exactly the same. Your little lark. Your doll that, that you'd have to handle with double care because I turned out to be so brittle. 
and frail. In that instant, in that instant, it dawned on me that for eight years I've been living here with a stranger. And that I even conceived three children. God, I can't stand the thought of it. It makes me want to tear myself to bits. Bill, Brian Rutledge here. <laughs> yeah, it has been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks. No, actually, I'm doing all the, uh, the stuff for Salt Air Swimwear in California. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, thank you. Uh, actually, that's indirectly why I'm calling. I understand that you're directing a motion picture. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, just you. Happy birthday, Will. <laughs> Not my... birthday. Let's just say your birthday is early this year. Uh... <laughs> uh, Jade, don't you think we should talk about this first? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, uh, because this morning I wasn't even your type. So I changed my mind. <laughs> you did. And, and, uh, and what, what made you change your mind? <laughs> what else? The way you whore up. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, Jay. Wait, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Seriously, here. Look, look I am not some blonde stud you can bring back here and... <laughs> and have your way with me. I mean it. I, I see how you treat those guys. You, you go out with them once, you can't even remember their names. I really care about you. <laughs> I want to know that this is more than some one-night stand. I don't believe this. You have been hitting on me nonstop for the past six weeks. Now what, you want to go steady first? Jane. I see what a tough case you are. You don't let anything touch you. Every week it's a different guy or a new car or new clothes. Well, I don't want to be just another one of your distractions. I need to know that this is going to mean something. Look, if we're going to analyze this to death, let's just forget about it, OK? Okay. Whatever you say. Will, wait a minute. Where are you going? If you're ever ready for anything real, give me a call. Fine. Who needs it? So it's true. You're packing it in for some guy. He's not some guy, Chris. I love him. Come on, Rosie. How can you love this guy? You barely know him. You don't know anything about this. He's the nicest man I've ever met. He takes me places and he buys me things. And he orders for you. He tells you what to read, what to wear. Rosie, if this guy loves you so much, why is he trying to change you? Maybe I want to change. Maybe I'm lucky that a man of heart's intelligence and position would even look twice at me. You know what I think? I think you're scared. You're scared you're not good enough, so you're taking the easy way out. You know what I think? I think you're jealous. Jealous? Yeah. 
Why, because I asked you out once? Don't flatter yourself. If you're not jealous, then why do you care so much what I do? Because I thought you had guts. I admired you. I guess I was wrong, huh? And you were right. It's none of my business. So if you want to go through the rest of your life wondering if you ever could have made it, that's just fine with me. Fine. Willard, we're ready to shoot this water skiing stuff. Is she here yet? Uh, no. No? No. Excuse me. Can any of you water ski? No? Oh, fine. Well, we're going to have to skip the thing again. What are you doing here? Why don't you quit? I couldn't. I gotta see this thing through. I've been practicing. Come on, Brian, what do you got to lose? Okay. I'm never going to catch up. Well, that's ridiculous. Well, maybe it is, but it's the way I feel. The truth is that I, I realize that I'm too young for marriage. I'm just not ready. I'm only 19. And there's still so many things that I want to do. Well, like, like what? Well, like, like go to college, for one. Well, that's fine. I'd be happy to put you through school. No, I can't. I need to know if I can make it on my own. Until I have my own identity and know who I am, marriage couldn't ever work. For a girl with no identity, how did you get to be so smart? Be able to use all of them. Can't afford to. Uh, Brian, why don't you run the commercial again and we'll decide.
Okay, gang, we're ready. First of all, sorry. First of all, I'd like to say that you've all worked out infinitely better than we had hoped. But after serious consideration, the following three models will be awarded the contracts. Scott Clark. Maria Detney. Rosie Campbell. Everyone else, thank you, and good luck. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I couldn't have made it through this without you. Let me. Oh, darling, you surprised? Yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. Well, you earned it. It's not bad for a kid I almost fired. Thanks. Oh, I got something else for you. Another surprise. Feast your eyes. $25,000? What is this for? The magazine called. They want to use you for their swimsuit issue. Ah! I can't believe it. I got to call my mom. I'll be right back. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Brian? Yeah? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, why not? Go. <laughs> I can't accept the contract because I got a part. Well, good for you. Now, I hope it's a great one. Well, it's the lead, mm -hmm. but um, now, I promise you're not going to laugh. It's about a beauty pageant, and I spend half the movie in a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now you can't escape your destiny. Oh, Brian, thank you. The director told me that you called him, and I can't believe you did that. You're a talent, you deserve it. And uh, once every other full moon, I turn into a nice guy for a minute or two. <laughs> Jade, I'm sorry. It's my own fault. Can you come visit me in Sing Sing? Sure. I'll bring you a cake with a file in it. Thanks. Want to hear something funny, Will? You're the first guy who's ever turned me down. You know, I've been thinking about that. What a fool I was. I made a terrible mistake. No, I'm glad you did. I am a hard case. I have been ever since my dad left my mom when I was 12. I have never had a real relationship with anyone before. It's just too scary. Hey, I'm scared too. Romella, may we speak with you for a moment? Good news, dear. Maria's dropped out, so we'll be using you next year after all. Well, thank you very much, but I will be going back to Hungary. Darling, you can't be serious. If you stay here, you can go back a millionaire. At least for Hungarian. Yes, but I am not a model. I am an entrepreneur. Scott has made for me a giant slaughter in commodities market. I will go back to Hungary and start my own swimsuit company. Why, you little capitalist, you. <laughs> Mrs. Allison, thank you very much. I'm only hoping that one day I can be as powerful and as cutthroat as you. You know, dear, it might be a good idea for you to invest in some English lessons. Thank you very much. You 
know what? What? Today, I lost my job. I'm being sued for a small fortune. And I've never been this happy ever. You know what? What? If I died right this minute, I could honestly say that I have lived a full life. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's home. Jade, it's Brian. Oh, hi, Brian. What's up? Well, Maria couldn't accept the contract, and neither did Romella. So you get it by default. Hey! You're kidding. That's fantastic! Before you get too excited, Mrs. Allison only wants you on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, listen, I gotta tell you, she's a little concerned about your attitude problem. I don't care if she wants me on a day-to-day -day basis. I promise you, Brian, from now on, I'll be the model model. You know what? What? You're bringing me good luck already. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> now, where were we? Hmm. <laughs> I'm coming. Coming, coming. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, come on in. Thanks. So? So? Local girl does good. Yes! <laughs> Rosie, I knew you could do it. I knew it. I knew that. This is great. Yeah, um, you knew before I knew. <laughs> Listen, Chris, I want to say thanks. You made me believe I could do it. And I want you to have this. What is it? It's my bonus check from the magazine. I want you to use it to open your prop shop. Oh, Rosie, I'm, I, I can't accept this. Oh, stop it. it. I'm not giving it to you, it's a loan. You believed in me, and I believe in you. Plus, it's a very sound investment, and I insist. All right. But only if you let me pay you back whatever the interest rate is. Fine. OK, fine. Fine, OK, then we'll make it legit. We'll draw papers and everything first thing tomorrow. OK, I'm not too worried about it. And there's one other thing. <laughs> gonna get you a break on the interest. You can forget it. I swear, I swear, I swear she used to work here. No way, no way. I'm telling you, it's true. It was the worst waitress I ever had. <laughs> what is a nice kid, though?